what do you do when your battle chooses you? What do you do when something shows up on your doorstep that you did not directly cause, choose, or definitely anticipate? Life is not always easy. In fact, some of you today, you're here and you're going through the toughest season of your life. There will be seasons where we will suffer. There will be seasons of real pain. And the question is, how will you respond in those moments? Life is hard sometimes. Easy, it's not an option. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth giving yourself a chance. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. It's worth it. You can do it. You can do it. There's problems that we go through that cause stress, worry, anxiety, and fear, but you might be in the battle of your life. I want to encourage you. It's not about what's happening around you. It's always about what's happening inside of you. Just because you feel afraid doesn't mean you have to be afraid. Just because you feel discouraged doesn't mean you have to be discouraged. Just because you have fear doesn't mean fear has to have you. The sentence out of your mouth is a story that you are putting out. I'm not going to make it. I quit. Let's get a divorce. Business is never coming back. We've lost too many people. I've made too many mistakes. I'm a failure. Nobody can help me. I've done too many bad things. I don't know what's coming out of your mouth. But it's a death sentence. And as you continue to confess it, and as you continue to declare it, well, don't be surprised when it becomes true in your life. We have to make sure that whenever I feel, when I think a death sentence, I must speak a life sentence. Oh, I'm feeling the sentence of death. I'm feeling the thoughts of anxiety. I'm feeling the thoughts that I'm done. I feel like I've been used and it hurts and it's difficult, but when that happens, I start speaking out a life sentence. No, I'm just gonna keep showing up. No, I'm gonna get back up. The righteous man, he falls seven times, but he gets back up. Never give up, never give in, because skill can't get you past certain things. Quickness, agility can't get you, you gotta have mental toughness. Pain ain't permanent. Your pain ain't permanent. You can get through this. You bigger than your pain. You better than that. Come on, you need to remember this is not the first time you cried. This is not the first time you were short of breath. This is not the first time you didn't see a way clear. This is not the first time you were hurt. This is not the first time your heart was broken. This is not the first time you didn't have enough money. This is not the first diagnosis that came up from behind. Say, I'm gonna live to tell the story. This too shall pass. I will remain. I'm not going to quit. Every one of my burdens, there's a blessing on the inside of it. If you don't quit, you will win, baby. You're going to work through this. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called me. And you're going to prove that everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you're going to prove all of them wrong. Just keep coming back. If you got nothing left to give, just show back up. Half of life, man, is just showing up. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. And if you can get through it, if you can work through your pain, I'm guaranteeing you on the other side is a reward. Pain is not permanent. Pain is temporary to me once you realize who you are you stop operating in desperation you stop saying yes to stuff you ain't supposed to be saying yes to so here's my big problem with a lot of y'all is your belief system is off like everybody can see how sweet you are people are commenting on well, you could do this and you could do that and you the only one ain't caught up with it yet T, why you always on beast mode I'm shocked more people are on beast mode there are people who living from check to check and they comfortable it's the weirdest thing to me. I'm like, boo, you broke. And you broke on several levels. We're not talking about Sally Mae. You still owe your grandma. I'm talking about you need to cash your grandma out.
Listen to me, unless you number one in your industry, you shouldn't be chilling. And if you number one in your industry, you got enough common sense to know you better not be chilling. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving 120. Every single day. Somebody said yesterday, ET, you gave 120. What you gonna do tomorrow? I said, I don't know. Get 140. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. There's nothing wrong with the opportunity. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You want what they paid for, and it ain't free. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get